what's going to be happening with the Apophis asteroid, some things to know about the asteroid skimming our Earth in 2029, eight years from now, you can see it's coming as close as our satellites are to us. Apophis will pass our Earth at a distance of less than 20,000 miles from the Earth's surface, April 13, Friday, Friday the 13th, 2029. I mean, how much of a coincidence is that? And in case you're wondering, yes, of course, it's Friday the 13th. The massive asteroid known as 99942 Apophis was once considered among the most dangerous asteroids in space with the potential to strike Earth very high, high potential, and was it discovered the 370 meter asteroid, it's about a th over a thousand feet trajectory towards the planet made many fear that the impact could happen. As we know, we have quite a few scars on our Earth from asteroid and comet impacts. But ultimately, though, this situation now seems unlikely, thanks to additional data gathered by astronomers. As such, NASA declared the planet free of risk from any asteroid impact for the next century. That's uh, assuming that we... Well, we don't know all the asteroids that are out there. Let's uh, remember Chelyabinsk that happened in Russia, in Siberia. We didn't even see that coming because it was coming from the direction of the sun. But anyway, just exactly what is the asteroid that made so many people worried? And this is everything we should know about Apophis 99942. When was it discovered and what did it look like? The asteroid first discovered June 19, 2004 by astronomers at Arizona's Kitt Peak National Observatory. Original estimates thought that the asteroid was over a thousand feet in diameter. For comparison, that would make it taller than the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower and would make it around half the size of the Burj Dubai, the tallest man-made structure in the world. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Later estimates put it at a much shorter uh, size, with scientists ultimately estimating it's around 370 meters, uh, just under 1,000 feet. In terms of classification, asteroid Apophis was classified as an Aten class asteroid, which means that its orbit crosses over the Earth's orbit around the Sun, but it spends most of its time inside it. But it will not stay that way, and is set to be reclassified as an Apollo-class asteroid after the anticipation close fly flyby due to its orbit now becoming wider. Now, what is the trajectory, and what chance did it have to impact our Earth? And this is a, a video by NASA showing the path of the asteroid. As you can see, it comes as close as our satellites. Now, as an Aten class asteroid, the orbit crosses over that of our Earth's orbit due to proximity, size, and speed, with uh, it orbiting around 30.73 kilometers every second and uh, completing the orbit around the Sun in about 0 0.9 Earth years. Many are worried that it would have struck the planet. Originally, many feared the asteroid's trajectory could put it at risk of doing that at the peak of fear Regarding this possibility, Apophis made waves for being the first asteroid to achieve a rating of 4 on the Torino impact hazard scale for two years. But even from the beginning, the risk was never that high, and the odds seemed firmly in place that such an impact would not occur. But there were still reasons to fear that an impact could happen, and that surrounds the existence of the gravitational keyhole, Essentially, this is a small region of space influenced by a planet's gravity, and if an asteroid were to fly through that keyhole at the right time, it could alter its orbit, its trajectory, pulling it closer to our Earth. It was thought initially that when Apophis was set to fly past our Earth in 2029, it could fly through the keyhole, and if it did so, there was a chance it could have a, its orbit altered, leaving it on a collision course for our planet in 2036, but now further calculations show that this was unlikely to happen. If Apophis did hit us, 
to have to have an Earth impact, how bad would it be? Very, though the exact degree is unclear, as it would depend on the asteroid's composition, but even the best estimates indicate how catastrophic, of course, it would be. Back when it was still listed on its NASA Century Risk Table estimate that Apophis would impact the planet with the equivalent force of 1,200 megatons of TNT, to compare the Tunguska event in Siberia, where the mysterious asteroid exploded above the surface of the Siberian wilderness in 1908, was estimated to have been somewhere between only 3 to, four to 10 megatons of TNT. Now, eventually, the strongest nuclear bomb ever tested, the Tsar bomb, only had the force of around 50 megatons of TNT. So you can understand how huge uh, this type of an asteroid impact on Earth would be. This is not to say it would be the most catastrophic impact our planet has ever had. It's estimated that an asteroid around the size of Apophis strikes a planet every 800,000 years or so. And indeed, one asteroid estimated to have been around a kilometer in size struck Southeast Asia around 800,000 years ago, according to the study from Curtin University. Furthermore, the asteroid that caused the Chicxulub impact, the dinosaur uh, impact crater of uh, comet, believed by many to have been what wiped out the dinosaurs, was estimated to have had a diameter of between 11 and 81 kilometers and having a force of over 100 million megatons of TNT, or 100 teratons. For further comparison, the last known significant asteroid impact was February 15, 2013, when an asteroid exploded in the air above Chelyabinsk, Russia, in Siberia, and this asteroid was just 17 meters wide, that's about, what, 60 feet, and while it did not result in any casualties, the shockwave from that explosion shattered windows in six different Russian cities and caused 1,500 people uh, injuries. Now, how did Apophis get its name? Originally, the asteroid was designated 2004 MN4, but after being further studied, it gained the permanent number of 00042, and then subsequently was given the name Apophis by its discoverers. The name Apophis itself derives from the Greek version of Apep, a monster in ancient Egyptian mythology and the arch enemy of Ra. A suitably apocalyptic as it sounds, though that may not be the main inspiration behind the name, according to a 2005 report in Astronomy magazine, co-discoverers Dave Tholen and Roy Tucker were big fans of Stargate SG-1, the science fiction TV series whose most prominent villain was named Apophis. So that's where they got the name from. Will Apophis still approach our Earth? Yes, Apophis will stay still passed by the Earth in 2029, as we see close to our satellites, specifically on Friday the 13th, and at a distance less than 20,000 miles from our surface. It's notable, as it would be closer than many geosynchronous satellites, and it's in fact the closest an asteroid of this size will have passed by in recorded history. In fact, it will be so close, so anyone in the Eastern Hemisphere will be able to see it, even without telescopes or binoculars. Is the Earth still at risk of an asteroid impact? Technically, yes. NASA estimated that the Earth is at no risk of being impacted by an asteroid within the next 100 years, though this notably only applies to asteroids coming from the front, meaning towards our Earth and the Sun. Asteroids coming from the back towards Earth, away from the Sun, are still notoriously difficult to detect. On September 16, asteroid 2021 SG, ranging between 42 meters and 94 meters in size, that's between 100 and 200 feet, flew past our Earth, and scientists never even knew it existed, let alone flying past our planet until the next day. This is by Aaron Reich from the Jerusalem Post, and it's on Bended Reality. And I'll leave a link below uh, for you for this, and also a video concerning Apophis by NASA. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. On April 29th, a mile-long asteroid will make a close approach to Earth as it passes safely by. 
There's, There's no, no need to worry. worry. This, this asteroid, asteroid will not even come close to hitting Earth. Our solar system is actually littered with asteroids and comets, and sometimes they do come very close to Earth. When an asteroid or comet could one day come close to our planet, it's known as a near-Earth object. But how close is close? A near-Earth object is defined as an object that could pass by our planet within 30 million miles. NASA, NASA begins, begins to keep close watch, watch on objects that could pass within 5 million miles of Earth. Earth. To, put to put that, that in perspective, our moon, moon is only 238,900 miles away. Now, now this, this doesn't, doesn't mean that objects don't pass closer to us than our moon. moon. They do. But the, the moon, moon is still very far away. away. However, However, unlikely the impact is, NASA, NASA wants, wants to know about all near-Earth objects so that we can track their movement through near-Earth space and predict their trajectories, trajectories well into the future. The Space Agency has a Planetary Defense Coordination Office that maintains watch for asteroids and comets coming close to Earth in order to warn of any potential impacts. Along with its partners, they discover, catalog, and characterize these bodies. But, but what, what if one of these objects did pose a threat? If an asteroid were on a collision course with Earth, we want to be prepared. That's why NASA is working on several techniques and technologies to help deflect an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. Join us as NASA experts discuss April 29th's close approach and what NASA is doing every day to help protect our planet.